here's a really neat pair of, of, of self-adjusting locking pliers. Uh, we all know what vice grips are, and they're a good tool and been around for years. But uh, in order with the vice grips, in order to uh, adjust the depth of the jaw or what it'll bite, you've got a, a gnarled knob on this end, and you got to screw it in or out or whatever it might be. Uh, with the lock jaw self-adjusting pliers, uh, these are closed at this point, and I'm just going to pull on this. And that opens it. Now, what I mean by self-adjusting, we can take this piece of sheet metal and it's gripped very, very firmly. Won't let loose until you clip this back part again. Releases it. Or I can use a small nut here. I'll uh, on that and just. that and it's locked and held firmly in place and again to release it all I have to do is so click and it's released and then the same thing with the large nut just there it is okay, self-adjusting locking pliers save you a lot of time and a lot of aggravation and this little screw here you go in and out will determine how heavy or how deeply this uh, bites on material and how strongly it holds. But lock jaw, self adjusting uh, pliers. Uh, these are from Lawson uh, Products Incorporated. And you can reach them through well, on the uh, internet. You can find them at uh, Lawson, L A W S O N, products.com. That's Lawson, L A W S O N products.com and you can uh, these suppliers by the way will run you somewhere in the neighborhood of $23 uh, an excellent tool uh, easy to adjust one-handed uh, uh, adjustment you don't have to uh, go fighting with the uh, knurled nut on the back of this and uh, this one that I showed you here just adjusts the spring tension on the pliers it is really that easy Here's another pretty neat tool that I found, or set of tools actually, they're Allen wrenches, hex head uh, wrenches, except these have a ball on the end of them, you can see it in this illustration right here, they have a ball on the end of them, so that you can take uh, any one of these and insert it into a Allen head screw at an angle up to 25 degrees, so that when you get into some place where you're working close, like the illustration shows right here, you simply take the proper size Allen wrench, uh, insert it at the uh, no more than a 25 degree angle, and then you can put all the turning pressure on that you need to loosen the uh, screw or cap screw, whatever it may be. Uh, these are available to to you in most any hardware store, or tool supply uh, store. And I think you will find them, as I did, invaluable uh, in your toolbox. This is the Quick Set Cradle, and it's a tool that's used for uh, learning the cylinder a new combination or allowing the cylinder to learn a new combination when there's no user key available. Uh, you take one of these cylinders apart, and you don't have the existing key combination because the key has been lost you can insert the uh, cylinder into the cradle uh, turn the cradle as it's uh, uh, shown in the instructions and the instructions by the way are all the way around the band there on this thing uh, very simple to use uh, when you turn it you use the uh, uh, smart key which is this little uh, tool right here put it into the uh, plug and feel it get springy and whatnot and then take your key uh, the key that you want to become your user key insert it, insert it turn it and you're all done uh, word of caution if you're doing this if you're working with one of these and I think you should have one on your truck uh, when you insert the key to learn, let allow the uh, cylinder to learn a new combination make sure you seat the key all the way to the shoulder otherwise it may long, uh, learn the wrong combination the Quick Set Cradle, by the way, is available through your favorite distributor, uh, and uh, probably run you about uh, 20 bucks or so. Uh, 
but it's a tool that you uh, will find indispensable as you begin to service smart key locks. This is the A1 Security Manufacturing Force Tool uh, for mortise cylinders. Uh, actually, it's called a mortise cylinder force tool. And it's uh, really, really very simple to operate. Uh, you take the, uh, this is spring loaded, uh, this particular uh, part of the lock is, or the tool is spring loaded. And what you do is you get that in the keyway push it down as far as it'll go and then hit the tool with a hammer get that centered and lined up and that'll leave the marks where you drill the holes that are going to accept these two uh, posts here and then you once you drill the holes you put this on force it all the way in and then take a wrench and just turn it and turn the water cylinder right out now you're going to damage the set screw, you may even damage the lock, uh, but it is a way to get into a cylinder or get a cylinder out to get into an aluminum cell door, uh, particularly if it's a high security cylinder and you have no alternatives. Uh, A1 manufacturing, well, mortise cylinder force tool. Now, before you uh, jump to conclusions and think this is a quick set, a quick pull, uh, it's not. Uh, this is a quick pull tool. But this is designed for the Schlage F-Series uh, and the uh, Orbit and uh, the other uh, styles as well. Now, there's a couple of differences here. You'll notice that you've got a longer screw here and you've got two reforming bushings. bushings. Sometimes when you use this quick pull tool to pull the F-Series uh, uh, cylinder out, uh, it, the the pulling pressure will slightly deform the face of the, the uh, cylinder. That's not unusual, but it's easily fixed because then you take this screw and you take this out, uh, you take your pulling part of the tool out, put this screw in, and then uh, you use the either one of the bushings as necessary and reform the face of the uh, cylinder. It's very easy and it gives you another quick entry to the F-Series uh, style knobs. And it of course is also made by uh, A1 Security Manufacturing and your your local supplier should have a lot of these in stock and be happy, uh, uh, be happy, happy to uh, sew you one or two. Hmm. Here's a pretty neat little tool from Lockmasters that uh, I found extremely useful when I'm reading wafer locks. Uh, this allows you to get into the uh, keyway, lift the uh, cylinders up, or the, I'm sorry, the uh, wafers up, and then you can look down in there and drop them one by one, and you can read the wafers. Uh, this, is a really, uh, this is made by Lockmasters, and it's available through Lockmasters in their catalog. Here's another little tool that I like uh, very well. This is for major manufacturing and it's called their uh, torque tool for quick set smart keys. Uh, when you don't have a key, you can't get the cylinder out, uh, you can use this tool to break the sidebar and open the lock. Just stick it in, turn it, and you got the thing open. Uh, there's two versions of this and you want to check with your local supplier uh, to find out uh, uh, which one you need and you'll probably need both of them because the newer version of uh, the lock is out and it's coming down the pike for us to service as well.